everyone, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra, and if you're new here, welcome to the community. We love y'all and happy to have you here. Today we are going to talk about unfortunate unsolved murders of two little girls and see if we can reach out to their spirits to help solve the crime of what happened to them and see see what we can do. You know, maybe nothing, maybe something, I don't know. Uh, however, I do know that when I read through their story, it just broke my heart and I wanted to see if I can help. Okay, so let me tell you the story and what I'm all talking about. Now, these murders are actually called, have been called the Snapchat murders. And there was a little girl, Libby, she was 14 years old and she was with her friend, Abby. And her friend, Abby, was 13 years old. And this happened um, February 13th of 2017, so it's actually pretty recent. And the two girls had been good friends. They played softball together, they played volleyball together just really good friends and one day they wanted to go out walking on a trail and so no big deal no one thought anything of it this is in a small town in Indiana where nothing you know bad really ever happens anything along those lines and so the older sister Libby's older sister took her to the trail dropped the two girls off so that they could go on a hike okay so these were really good girls and they're just out there they're having a good time um, you know, Libby has big dreams and hopes of being a science teacher when she grows up. Abby wants to get into forensics and police work. Just good, regular little girls that are hanging out on this trail. And Libby is out there and she's taking pictures and video with her phone and she's posting a Snapchat of all the fun that they're having just walking on this trail. Well, Grandpa calls and he's supposed to pick them up and he called them around roughly about three o'clock in the afternoon and I guess they were gonna get picked up around four o'clock so unfortunately the girls never showed the police were called everyone went looking and unfortunately they found the two girls murdered about a mile down the street close to Deer Creek so where do we go from here the police did recover Libby's cell phone and she like I said she had been snapchatting their adventure on this trail and she caught something really creepy she must have sensed some danger was out there because she actually started recording on her phone and her phone recording caught a man saying down the hill all it says is just down the hill and she also caught a picture of a man on her camera that no one so far has been able to identify. Now there's been composite sketches of this man. They've been out there. I'm gonna show you the sketch because if you know this man, you know, this happened in Indiana, but who knows where this guy could be. This guy needs to be caught and these two little girls need justice. So we're gonna try and talk to them, you know, I don't even know if they would knew who did this. I don't think he probably went up and introduced himself. So I don't know if the girls know, I don't know how much spirits know about something like this but we've got to try and reach out to them we got to try and get this solved this has just rocked their little community and and just breaks my heart so i want to try and reach out to them so let's try and talk to libby and abby okay ethan are you there I'm trying to reach Libby and Abby, who were killed February 13th in 2017. They were murdered in Delphi, India. Oh, sorry, Indiana. Can you guys help me get them and talk to them, please? I don't usually like to ask for children, but we need to figure this out. Thank you. Libby and Abby, when you're here, can you tell me? I hear girls. What instrument did you play in band? Uh, 
Libby and Abby, can you tell me what instrument did Libby play in band? time your grandpa was supposed to pick you up that day? Now, I only want to speak to my guides and Libby and Abby, so if there's other spirits that want to talk, we can get together later and talk. But right now, Libby, Abby, and my guides, and that's it. Libby and Abby, what color do they keep the porch lights on in your town? Do you know, do either one of you know the name of the man who killed you? Who murdered you? Libby, you record him saying down the hill. What is his name? of a man. Do you know what his full name is? I need you to come through with all your energy as clear as you can and tell us. family, dear. <laughs> Abby, what messages do you have for your family? for your family? <laughs> Do you girls see the porch lights that your town keeps on for you? Okay, let's try another spirit box. Okay, we'll try the, the app now and see what we can get with that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use this app. This is XB SBX 12 Spirit Box Light. And this light, I want to show you, it's moving a little bit right now. But if you guys see it swinging crazy back and forth, uh, leave it in the comments below. Sometimes I miss it when I'm just going through and listening. So I do plan on setting up more of like a pendulum system here. So yeah, so I'll be doing that soon. So... I think that light's kind of a little hard to move sometimes for weaker spirits and so I want to set up something that maybe would be easier for them to move but let's get into the app and see if we can talk to the girls. Ethan and E, can you help Libby and Abby talk to this app? Libby or Abby, either one, if you can come through and tell us 
What is the name of the man that killed you? Does he live in Indiana? If he doesn't live in Indiana, can you tell us what state he does live in? Libby and Abby, what color is the light of all the porch lights in your town? Your town, did, well, Libby's mom started a special thing for and changed all the porch lights to a special color until the murderer was caught. What color is that? Abby, I just heard your name. What message, dear, do you have for your family? <laughs> Libby, what message do you have for your family, dear? Sorry, guys. What is it like for you both on the other side right now? Okay, we love you guys, and we're always thinking about you. You take care. Thank you guys, too, for trying to help them come through. Goodbye. Okay, so spirit box session. I heard Libby. I heard Abby. So at least I heard their names. So we'll see if we get anything out of that. You'll know by the time you're watching this um, what I heard, what the specialists heard. Uh, hopefully some good can come out of this. This just broke my heart, and, and I'm not... I want to let y'all know I'm not doing this out of a disrespect thing at all. If anything that we can do at all to help these families, I can, I can never imagine one of my ch children, you know, going missing or even worse, murdered. That would shake my world. I don't know what I would do without them. So if there's anything that, that I can do to help or whatever, then uh, maybe this does. I, I, I don't know. But... Um, hopefully we did and we'll see what we get if you hear anything that I miss and my specialist miss make sure to put it down below um, sometimes you know we listen through it with the cans on and sometimes there's things that are just jump out in plain I hate to say sight because it's not that but like jump out when you're listening to it on you know the big screen on the TV that you can really hear so uh, we'll go from there but love you guys uh, sorry this is kind of such a somber video I just really wanted to talk to these girls and I figured that uh, you guys probably would too so love y'all make sure to like the video subscribe um, share amongst your families because we are climbing up in subscribers and doing great and that's all thanks to you so keep up the great work and I love you and I'll talk to you later bye